Hello everyone, it's Tara with One Dollar Decorator and I would like to share with you a crafting tip that I use on a regular basis. So let me tell you, I was doing a live craft and I was fumbling all around and this wonderful follower suggested this to me and now I use it all the time, all the time. So let me show you. Now, this has to do with jute jute or hemp string, anything that you are threading, okay? There's there's different gauges, you know, the thickness of the jute. This is kind of a thicker jute. This is a little bit thinner. And then we have the hemp string, okay? So, if you're using, if you're using this thicker, excuse me, this thicker jute and you're trying to thread it through a hole like in this bead, sometimes it can be very difficult. Sometimes it goes right through and other times there is no way it's going to happen. So, or what about something like this? You wanna make a hanger and you wanna thread it through there. So, you know, so you try to put it through and what happens? It just seems to grow. Let me try this again. Now, now look, now all, it's, it's all separating, okay? The same thing with the bead. Let me try to thread it through. It's just kind of separating, so what do you do? I mean, this, it's totally unraveling. So then you kind of put your finger down and you twist it around and try to put it back through again and it just keeps getting worse. Oh, it's so frustrating. So this is what the tip is. All right, so take your glue gun right on the very tip that you want to thread through the hole and you put a little bit of hot glue on there, okay? Now you're gonna let it cool down for just a minute. Okay, let it cool down so you don't burn your fingers. All right, so once you've given it just a few seconds to cool down, you're gonna take and you're gonna twist it around the tip and, and hold all those fibers together, okay? So now look what you got, you got it all together. So let's try to thread this through this hole now. You guys, it goes right through. Look at that, no problem at all. I mean, boom, boom, boom. It just keeps, keeps going. If you need to add more, you know, glue, like this kind of frayed again, you, you can do that, okay? There was a little bit that I missed, so you just put a tiny another little dab of glue there and then just twist it right around, okay? Now, well now this, on this little, fun piece. This hole is a little bit smaller. Let's see how it goes through here. There we go. Wow. Okay. Now that's with the thicker jute. It can also work, say, with the thinner jute if you need it. This, this, these fibers are wound a little bit. This, this whole thing is just a little bit smaller, but what if you have a, an even smaller hole? Okay. Say like a medallion something um, something like this. You do the same thing. If, if you need it, you can put a little bit of glue on the end. Let's see. It's like I don't even try before to thread it through without the glue. I immediately just put the glue on it now and twist it around and, and it just goes. This hole is really small in the top of this medallion, but this small thinner jute Wow, it goes right on. Now, obviously if you're working with hemp string, you're not gonna have a problem threading this through any of these holes. However, I did a craft the other day where I put two pieces together and I had to thread them through together. So let me show you. Without any glue, this, this threads through fine, okay? Just a regular hole. However, if I wanna put these two ends together and, and thread them through at the same time, do the same thing. Put a little bit of glue right there on the ends. Let it cool down. Okay, and now just, just twist them together. Okay, so now these are together. Wow. that. These two together, I didn't have any issue, one going through and the other one not. Um, so, so, so easy. Look at that, you guys. That was so easy. So easy. So there you go. 
um, anytime you're threading anything through, may you know, um, it will, it would, uh, it should work. I, I just use this on the jute and the hemp string, and it has been a lifesaver. It has saved me so much time and frustration. Um, wonderful, wonderful tip. So, I hope this helps you. I hope you try it the next time you're uh, threading beads or making a hanger or something like that. And uh, let me know how it works for you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you around doing some crafting. Bye-bye.